over 100 worshipers gathered at the Park East Synagogue to stand together in prayer and unite against hatred. We stand together as one. One of many religious leaders in attendance, the Bishop of Brooklyn, Nicholas DiMarzio. He says regardless of denomination, worshipers must be strong following the Pittsburgh shooting. We can't be afraid to worship. That's one of the basic freedoms we have in the United States. We stay home because we're afraid of uh, coming to a place of worship. We let those who are purveyors of hate win, so we can't have that happen. A message echoed by New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Have faith in God during this tragic time. He wants us not to wallow in mourning, but to behold a fresh morning where his grace and mercy rises unfailingly with his son. Wearing United Against Hate t-shirts, students from the neighboring Jewish elementary school lit candles for the 11 men and women killed at Tree of Life Synagogue. Lauren Meyer, who teaches the Manhattan students, grew up in Pittsburgh and attended Temple there. I know um, a couple of the victims is from, you know, high holidays and Saturday and Sunday mornings there, and it's heartbreaking. They're related to some of my friends, and it's devastating what they're going through. But for these worshipers, they stand strong in faith. Our country in many ways seems divided at this period of our history, which is a terrible thing, but we are united in faith. And this terrible tragedy that happened in the Jewish community affects all of us. So we're here today to show our solidarity with one another. This is a very important message that we need to send to the entire society that uh, Jews and Judaism is not alone in fighting anti-Semitism and that other denominations, other religions are going to be with Jews facing the threat. And at the end of the service, worshipers sang God bless America and reiterated their message of hope, faith, and to stand together against hatred. On the Upper East Side, Tim Harfman, Currents News.